So uh, you running with the Outlaws. Uh, how do you get introduced to New Jersey? Well, shout out to Mutah, shout out to Reef, Roddy, Mooney, my homeboy Napoleon. That's my brother. That's who took me to New Jersey the first time. They used to come to the neighborhood with me all the time. Mind you, I was still a teenager, so I couldn't drive. Well, I could drive. I didn't have a license. So Chug was in jail. I told them to make sure before, whenever they come to California, to get with me, right? So they come, pick me up from the city. They over here with me, my family, the homies, a lot. Especially Edie, Napoleon, and Fatal. Rest in peace, Fatal Dog, and y'all. So Moo felt like, man, you always got us over here. And he always tell a story about he was cussing on the porch. You know, we, we still are our elders' babies. And we was on the porch one day, and he was cussing loud as shit. And I was like, nigga, my grandma right there. You know what I'm saying? So he like, well, you always bring us to Compton. You got to come to New Jersey. You always, I, we always at your house. You got to come to my house, dudes. I'm like, all right, bet. bet. So that's how I got to New Jersey. Got to New Jersey. It was just a colder version of the city, bro. Yeah. Uh, so you and the Outlaws, y'all put out an album after that, after Pop. We did. Out. We did the Retribution album. It came out ten years after we did it. It lost, you know, to everybody. They lost to them family, hero. Got them out the ghetto too. You know what I'm saying? So he really got them out, out, you know, the ghetto. They was all kids. Niggas only a couple of years older than me. So, so they left after Pac died. They came back out here. I don't even remember how long it was, but I got a call. They was at the office. Can you pull up? I'm on my way. You know what I mean? And then we started first. Yeah, we started recording, uh, um, which ultimately became the Retribution album. That was, I think, the only album as the Outlaws as a even a group did in canal shit crazy it was it, it's still songs on the i listen to the album still to this day it's songs on the album that i ain't on that's out of here so that album that's how that came about man that was their first studio run without pop so you can only imagine you know what i mean it, it wasn't it was some nights it was some hard nights bro but um does the name The Realist ring any bells to you? That's my brother. Yeah, talk to me about how you know him. That's my nigga, bro. Forever. He, he, he know that. M's. Uh, yeah. I met The Realist. You know, he was around, like he had just came around maybe like 97 or something. But I went away. But um, then, when we really, really got super duper tight, Cause he was around, you know what I mean? I remember when he came from Texas, you know what I mean? But right. and him and my relative had a little bond. Shout out to Bank. That's my dog, too, forever. Day one. But they, um, he called me. He said, Riddles is looking for me. So I just so happened to be over there. I was in the neighborhood that day. So I pop out. They was on the tour bus, right? Him and the relatives, the rest of the piece of Y, too. Big Y was, was a real one, too. And, um, you know, we had a conversation and been you know, home from that day, bro. I think that was, shit, 99, 2000, something like that. Long time ago. You know what I mean? Mind you, we still young dudes. You know what I mean? But he, he solid, bro. I fuck with him forever. 